Yo, what's good everybody? Salute to all my YouTube land people in the building. Yeah, welcome back to the channel. Yes, I know it has been a few weeks, a couple of weeks. <laughs> been crazy busy, I had a lot going on. But um, I got another quick video. In fact, this is indeed going to be a... Um, just from a gameplay perspective, a tribute video, which is um something that I forgot to mention um when uh when Greed was here was that yes, um I wanted to say rest in peace to Bill Russell, one of the greatest to ever do it, of course. Um before I get to that though, I just wanted to say that I so I so I saw on the YouTube apparently they took down the SmackDown Just Bring It video. Um, I'm gonna look into that and see what happened. As of now, I'm, I'm recording. So once I'm done recording, I'll upload the upload this video. Then I'll go ahead and check out what happened in the SmackDown Just Bring It video that I've done. Um, apparently, it has disappeared. So. Um, maybe it's probably something with copyright. So I'll check that out and um, hopefully it could go back up. But anyway, wanted to con uh, to just kind of get into uh, Bill Russell. So, you know, uh, depending on how you grew up, depending what your, which, which your ideals and your thoughts, as far as for basketball, about what makes a player great, listen, and I know I've made my top 10 video, which um, you should check out, definitely. If you're watching this video, definitely go and check out the two videos that I made of me ranking my top 10 of all time. But anyway, I wanted to kind of say that depending what your idea is of a great player, everybody's perception and uh, definition is going to be different. And I think that that's a good thing. You know, I think people should have... Um, you know, they, they should stand on what what exactly they expect and what they want out of a player. Um, I don't think there's anything wrong with that, you know. Um, it gets controversial with certain players, especially with guys like Kobe and LeBron, um, Michael Jordan. Um, you know, it gets very... Con those are the main three that it really gets controversial with. But there, there are plenty of great players and it depends on the era. So, um, my pops, his belief was, was that he thought Bill Russell was the greatest, <laughs> better than Jordan. And my view has shifted away from, uh, championships because that was, um, that was his main argument point. It's like, listen, Bill Russell has 10, including one as a coach. By that definition, he would have to be the greatest because of championships. Um, I was kind of in. I was kind of basing players off of that model. Of course, listen. At the end of the day, basketball is a team sport, and it's gonna take a great team in order to win a championship. Now, do certain players outperform other players, and their impact on their team in their era is great? Absolutely. Um, I don't think anybody would say, um, for the most part, I don't think anybody would say that uh, Scottie Pippen was the reason that, was the main reason that the Bulls were winning uh, their championships in the midnight, in, in the 1990s. I don't think anybody would say that his impact was greater than Jordan's um, because Jordan was well established of a star um you know, while Pippen was there and even before Pippen got there. And even during the time when they were together, um, you know, the year that, to be fair, the year that Jordan retired or, you know, for that, <laughs> for that gambling thing or when he went into baseball, he retired and went into baseball. But that was the year that Scottie Pippen could have proved to a lot of people that he was indeed on the level of a guy like Jordan. And ultimately, a blown call or not, ultimately they lost in I want to say the semifinals to the to the New York Knicks in '94. Um, granted, they they didn't win, they didn't lose. 
no, excuse me. They didn't win as many games as the previous season in 93 when Jordan was there. So they only fell off maybe a couple of games as far as wins. But the bottom line is that Pippen was the main guy on the team. And he had a chance to show everybody what he could do without Jordan. And ultimately, as a team, they lost. Uh, most of that, of course, has to go to Pippen. With great responsibility and great praise of a player, comes it has to come great success and great criticism. Um, that's my firm belief. But anyway, back to Bill Russell. So with him... Um, th that was my thoughts too, until I kind of got out of that. It, 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 championships do matter, but it's not as important as like all NBAs, um, MVPs, of course, finals MVPs. Those count a little bit more, especially longevity. Those, like all of that stuff matters. It's not set to just championships. But with that being said, nonetheless, Bill Russell dominated the 60s, Okay. Now, the one thing about Bill Russell that people would always say is, well, look at his team. Granted, his team was very good. Um, he had a, I, I want to say at least about, besides besides himself, maybe three or four other Hall of Famers on his team. Um, so, and, and just, you know, going back to that whole team thing, uh, it is a team sport. And yes, he had a great supporting cast. But besides that, the Celtics didn't win um, until Bill Russell got to the team. Now, prior to that, during the 50s, you had guys, well, you had George Mikan and the Minneapolis Lakers who were, you know, who were winning titles. I want to say maybe the Hawks. I'm not too sure about that era, like right before the 60s, the 50s, but I do know the legacy of George Mikan and what he meant to the league and winning a lot of titles. Um, so salute to George Mikan. I think uh, not many people really speak about him and his impact. But yeah, George Mikan had a significant impact on the league um, right before Bill Russell got there. But once Bill Russell did get into the league, that's when you see, that's when everybody saw him and the Celtics have a dominant run during the 60s. Um, and there were times that, you know, and that was... Uh, Around the time that also Will Chamberlain was in the league as well, and they've had they have had many battles, um, but I, I think with Bill Russell, um, I, I I give him a lot of respect. Not only is that a sentiment a sentimental pick because of my father, but also just because of what he meant to the league. Um, he also played during the civil rights era. That was also important. You know, he took that legendary photo um, with guys like him, uh, I want to say Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, and um, and Muhammad Ali. They took a legendary, and there was other um, uh, other players that were a part of that as well. But that legendary photo with those three, um, you know, he was he was a part of that. So it was a big deal with Bill Russell growing up in that era um, and playing during that era. Um, his legacy and his his rise to dominance, um, it cannot be uh, overshadowed at all. And that's why for me, um, the reason, see, if somebody was to say that Bill Russell was the greatest player of all time, I would have no issue with that. To me, there's only three players, in my opinion, there's only three players that could even though it's it's kind of dumb cuz you have to go by era and every era is different but um i think you know of course you could go by skill um but it's going to be tough to compare eras but anyway to me if 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 somebody was to say that uh the three that could be the goat in my opinion would could be Michael Jordan, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and Bill Russell. Those are the only three. Um, I think those three right there, they have a stake um, to be the, the the greatest player of all time. Um, anybody else, I would kind of have an issue with, but definitely those three, I would not have an issue with. <laughs> Even if somebody was to say that Bill Russell was better than Jordan, Bill Russell was dominant. Um, one of the one of the greatest, if not the greatest, and I would give him dishonor, but 
one of the greatest defensive players of all time, one of the greatest rebounders of all time, um, one of the greatest leaders of all time. And even though he had a, a stacked team for the 60s where there was no free agency or anything like that, or it wasn't as prominent as now with guys going wherever they want, um, but, you know, with that group and that core, with him, guys like Kuzi and Casey Jones, um, Sam Jones, you know, with, with that squad that they had, you know, he was undoubtedly the best player on those teams. Multiple finals MVPs, multiple regular season MVPs. Bill Russell was very dominant. So my hat definitely goes off to him. And I kind of wanted to just make a, a tribute gameplay video for him. I didn't quite address it, and I got busy with some things. I know I'm kind of late, but I knew about it. When it happened, it was very devastating. Um, you know, a tr tremendous individual, Bill Russell, you know, definitely rest in peace. Gone, but not forgotten. Um, we, we've lost... Since the start of the decade, we've, we've lost quite a few legends. We lost David Stern, you know, Kobe Bryant, John Madden, and now we're losing, you know, Bill Russell. Um, definitely, definitely, um, definitely unfortunate. Um, but, but then again, Bill Russell has lived a great life. Anytime you reach 90, I believe he was, um, that you're, you're living a pretty good life. But nonetheless, his legacy and his impact on the league cannot be forgotten. You know, um, one of the first players to, uh, you know, command a dynasty and be the leader of a dynasty, that definitely cannot go unnoticed. Um, that's why I said his impact was was far greater than basketball at times. Um, but yeah, Bill Russell was a tremendous player, and like I said, one of the one of the greatest defensive players, if not the greatest. Um, they didn't really count blocks during his time, but man, <laughs> if they did, um, I think people would look at him more, uh, higher up in a different light if they could track blocks, but stat tracking wasn't really a thing. But, um, but yeah, nonetheless, I just wanted to say that, say, say my little piece about Bill Russell, um, shout out to him. Like I said, his legacy and his impact on the league and in sports will not be forgotten. Um, and there's also another, you know, thing I wanted to mention, too. I wanted to also give, um, you know, give some some light or shed some light on uh, Jackie Robinson's wife, Rachel Robinson. I just wanted to say congratulations to her because she made it to 100 years old. Um, that, that's an amazing accomplishment. I hope I can reach that. <laughs> I know probably a lot of people wish they could reach that, but yeah, she has reached 100 years of age. That is incredible. Um, definitely shout out to her. You know, speaking of the whole civil rights era, Jackie Robinson, you know, being one of the first, um, I don't really like to use the term black, but I'll use it in this case, but one of the first black players to come into the league and dominate, you know, and also one of the first black players ever in history to just come into the league and, and play really well, well enough where later down the line, other black players such as, you know, guys like Barry Bonds and Ken Griffey Jr., those guys will have a chance to play. Of course, there's plenty of others I could think about. But I'm just saying, um, him being the first and him being really good and him setting the tone for the later uh, black players that would enter the league and have good and stellar careers, you know, Jackie Robinson um, paved the way for guys, um, as I just mentioned. So definitely shout out to Rachel Robinson, a remarkable accomplishment, reaching 100 years of age. Um, so definitely salute to her. And I wish her nothing but the best going forward. Hopefully she can reach 101. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I just wanted to, you know, just um, speak my piece on that and everything. And I kind of wanted to, to make this video 
um, just about that. I know it's been a minute, haven't been here, haven't been playing, but um, I had a lot of stuff going on. But I got a little bit of time, so I definitely want to show some love, um, put a video back out on the channel. And, I'm, and like I said, I'm going to see what happened with the SmackDown Just Bring It video. I don't know what happened, but we're going to see. But anyway, let's get into this game right here. This is NBA Live 2005. I'm going to play as the 60s All-Stars going against the 70s. Now, the unique thing about this game and about this, this um, two-decade era with the 60s and the 70s this was right before the NBA adopted the three-point line. So the NBA, um, their competition back then was the ABA. Now, the ABA was very prominent throughout the 70s. It featured stars like, um, you know, Dr. J, Moses Malone, George Gervin, and some of the franchises like the Spurs came from the ABA, and I think the Nuggets... And other franchises um, that I can't really think about. But <laughs> a lot of the franchises that you see today came from the ABA. Now, during the 70s, the ABA had the three-point line. And they had the dunk contest. Which is two of the things that the NBA adopted. But I don't think they had the... I don't think they featured the dunk contest. I want to say until maybe 83 or 84, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and they didn't have the three-point contest until 87. I want to say 86. No, 87 or 88. One of those two years. Which would be the 86, 87, and then, or 87, 88. Like that. But, um, but when one thing that they did adopt right away was the three-point line. So, the, they, they merged in, I want to say, 1979. And the, the following season, 79-80, which was the debut of um, Magic Johnson and Larry Bird and, and some other players I can't think of at the moment, but those two more infamously. But so the three-point line, you know, and the rest is history. The three-point line was adopted and they've kept it since then. But the NBA did not feature the three-point line. And also, um, I want to mention this too. There's a really good video. Um... On YouTube it's from a channel called um, I want to say thinking basketball and it shows uh, they, they made a video about a month ago definitely I definitely recommend it that shows the evolution of the rules of the NBA and on the channel they were giving examples of how the NBA used to be back in the 60s and how officiating used to be um, officiating now is way more loose than how it has been throughout the 60s and 70s, meaning that they were way more strict on certain things. Uh, a lot of times, um, you know, when guys like pivot um, or, you know, when they're trying to spin using their pivot foot and stuff like that, a lot of times that would be called a travel. <laughs> so if you think James Harden was traveling, imagine, you know, guys like Kobe who would, you know, use his pivot foot and spin and rotate and stuff like that, he would be called for a travel. And one thing that's interesting about that, especially during the 70s, they were really strict on shooting in a shooting form and then you lean into the defender. So when guys use, utilize, especially guys like Dwayne Wade, when they utilize the pump fake and the defender jumps and then they jump right into them, Oftentimes, a lot of the times, they would call that an offensive foul. I think it should be that way, especially if, defend, if the defender, you know, if you if you hit a guy with a pump fake and he jumps into you in your landing space, then, of course, that should be a defensive foul. But if a guy jumps straight up and you jump into him trying to force contact, that should not be a defensive foul. It should either be a no call or... Or at the very least, it should be an offensive foul. Because you're leaning into the guy. But anyway, <laughs> besides that, I wanted to get into, you know, Shaq has been often criticized for his his um, his um play style, which was he had some finesse in his game. Um, and I think that's one of the more underrated parts of Shaquille O'Neal's game was that he could, you know, he was he was electric on a fast break. 
He had he had a hook shot. He had a post game, um, but a lot of it was him trying to bully his way into the lane, and a lot of that stuff would get called the offensive foul in the seventies. So it's interesting whenever people say, "Oh, you know, guys like this would dominate in this era." That video really highlights how the officiating was in the 70s. So guys who are physical specimens, guys like LeBron, um, you know, guys like, um, I want to say like Russell Westbrook, guys who play downhill and they kind of force their way into the lane, that style of play wouldn't be as effective in the 70s because they're calling it an offensive foul. But uh, nonetheless, I just wanted to share that. But definitely... <laughs> Check out Thinking Basketball, their video on the evolution of the NBA rules. It's a really eye-opening video. It's really good. Um, they, and the NBA were even strict on dribble moves. And this was something that I was not really too aware of. Um, you know, every, I have my opinions on basketball. But as I've stated in my all-time video, I'm still kind of a student of the game. I'm still learning and... Um, you know, my top 10 could definitely um, change sometime soon. It definitely can change. Um, you know, as of now, that's my ranking. Um, and, and I'm a very open-minded individual, and I, and I look at things very objectively. Do I have my biases? I would say so. But I try to be as objective as possible when ranking players, ranking talent. Of course, you have to take in the era, the teams, the system. Um how the officiating is. So it, it, it it's a lot that goes into basketball to just pick out a certain player and say, you know, this guy is certainly the best. You know, that's tough to do because you don't know how certain players will match up against other players. You may have an idea, but you just, you quite don't know. You don't know. So, but um, yeah, that's going to do it for the commentary. <laughs> um, I'm going to get into the game in one second. Uh, just wanted to also say this as far as for my schedule with the uploads. I kind of wanted to do something different um, as far as like during the week. Um, and I'm going to explain a little bit more of that either tomorrow or definitely Friday. It's looking like Friday I might come back to upload another video, but we'll see. I know I say that now and then <laughs> in another two weeks you'll see me again, but... Just uh, just stick with your boy, um, you know, and, and, and thank you all to all of my subscribers who have been hanging in there and stuff like that. I appreciate it. And if you're new watching the video, I definitely hope you subscribe. Um, I hope you enjoy the content. I have a bunch of videos on the channel. Um, and yeah, this is this is a uh, this is an easygoing gaming channel where um, and I know I have it in my uh, about section. But yeah, this is an easygoing gaming channel. I play a lot of classic PS2 games mostly. Um, yeah, so, you know, feel free to subscribe, comment, you know, say whatever you want. Like the video, dislike the video, doesn't matter. I would hope you like it. <laughs> but, um, you know, whatever it is that you want to do, go right ahead and do it. Um, but hopefully, people that are new, they definitely subscribe. And thank you to all my subscribers who have been here. I definitely appreciate each and every one of you. And, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. So, before we get into the game, let's get into the starting lineups. Now, the thing with NBA Live, oh, man, this is it's really disgusting. But, as you see here, we got Will Chamberlain, who's a 94. Bill Russell, who's a 74. Now, granted, Bill Russell was not an offensive marvel. He could score. But he didn't have an array of post moves such as like a Will Chamberlain. Um, so I think that's where they go. He was way more defensive oriented than Will. Um, no, Will could play defense. Don't get me wrong. Will could play defense. I don't think on the same level as Russell. But Will could definitely. He was a great defender. Um, just as effective as Russell. But because he didn't have an offensive game. Like Chamberlain, I'm speaking on Russell here, because Russell didn't really have a diverse offensive game, they kind of penalize him for that, which is some nonsense. <laughs> but anyway, it is what it is, but he's a 74 in the game. We got Will as a 94. 
We got Elgin Baylor coming in at a 79. And yes, we have the big O, Oscar Robinson. Look at that brother right there. And then lining out, uh, rounding out, excuse me, the starting line we have uh, Lenny Wilkin. So with, um, oh man, what was I going to say with Oscar Robinson? Hmm, there was something I wanted to say. But anyway, at 86 overall, that's not, oh, no, it wasn't about Oscar Robinson. Now, in this game, there is one player missing from this list, and it is Jerry West. Now, in NBA Live 03, they have Jerry West on the 60s All-Stars, but in this game, and I want to say in 04, they don't. So they did not feature Jerry West anymore after NBA Live 2003. Now, I wanted to play 2003, but the game, uh, it's a little bit faster, and I kind of wanted to to get into more of a simulated game. And NBA Live 2005 is, is really good. Especially with the rebounding and stuff like that. So, I've considered it. But anyway, <laughs> let's look at the 70s All-Stars. So, yeah, they have uh, Bob Lanier. And I think he passed away also. Didn't he pass away recently? Hold on, I have to check that out. Yeah, as a matter of fact, he did. So, also, rest in peace to Bob Lanier. Um, I believe he is a Hall of Famer. I'm not sure, though. Yes, he is. So, shout out to him. Hall of Famer Bob Lanier, eight-time All-Star. Rookie, all-rookie team. You know, All-Star MVP. Yeah, shout out to him for having a solid career. Uh, of course, we have Hondo, John Havlicek. Who was a member of the Boston Celtics? Um, he didn't play with. Wait, did he? I don't. I don't think he played with um, Bill Russell. I could be mistaken though. I don't think so. But Boston won in '74, 1976, and sandwiched right in between that was Rick Barry, who led the Golden State Warriors to win in 1975. Yo, this man. He was a shooting. Genius. This guy was really good on offense, Rick Barry. And so is this guy right here, Pistol Pete Maravich. And then rounding out the 70s lineup, we have Walt Clyde Frazier. All right, so we're going to play the 70s versus the 60s. I know it's been a minute um, as far as for me talking during, during, the, during the video. But sit back, relax, and enjoy yourself. We're going to get into it. The 60s All-Stars versus the 70s All-Stars as we have KG on the screen. Um, but yeah, definitely I hope you all enjoy. Once again, thank you all for tuning in. I always appreciate it. Um, if you're new, I hope you subscribe. If you're old and you've been here, stay subscribed. And let's get right into the matchup. Live from the EA Sports Arena in Vancouver, it's the 70s All-Stars and the 60s All-Stars. Hi, I'm Marv Alvin, along with the czar, Mike Fratello. Let's hand it over to the PA announcer for the starting line. Starting at center, Bob Lanier. Starting at forward, Rick Barry. Starting at guard, Walt Frazier. Starting at the other forward, John Havlicek. Starting at the other guard, Pete Maravich, the coach, the 70s coach. <laughs> the coach, the 70s, the 70s coach. All right, let's get right into it. Rick Barry. Oh, man, here we go, Shen. To avoid the defender on that basket. When you have guys flying at you trying to block I ain't playing in a minute. It's easy um, to take your eye off the basket and blow the bucket. He kept his eye on the rim, followed through, and made it look easy. Frank, on, Will. Solid defense. Ten seconds to get a shot off. Backs uh -huh. him down. Only five. Oh, no foul. Get it to fall. He got hit. Had a change. Oh, oh. And it just would not go. No. 
Just the Pete, yo. I said they already have, they already had a four point lead already. Two possession game. All right, we hit him with the. Okay. Oh, good steal. Frazier taking a look from the right side. Good steal right there. Oh, he missed it. No. Damn, he got the rebound, but stepped out of bounds. I was literally mashing. Frazier with the notion to fight. Give me that. The rebound. Push it, push it, push it. Here we go. The big O. He could dunk? Oh, snap. I didn't know that. Oscar I did not know Oscar Robinson could dunk. I did not know that. You know what's weird? So, in, in this game... Good block, Will. Oh. So, in, in this in this game, right? They have him as a dunker. But it's funny because in NBA Street Volume 2, he can't dunk at all. So, that, that's kind of weird. They're trying to use a double team to shut down the offensive play. Nope. Elevates. Oh, get it. To go from up top. We're safe. Give it up. Give it up. Defensive pressure being applied by Bama. No. Ah, oh, I keep making turnovers. Damn. Get that out of here. Bill Russell in the building. Let's go. Impressive defensive play by. Push it. Push it. Jumpers off the mark. Oh, how did you miss that, bro? Rely on their outside shooting to win games. Playing his own defense may be the wrong decision. Good defense. The other team may want to focus on playing man to man. There we go. Hey, the big O, boy. What you know about the big O? Know what I'm saying? Triple double specialist. Pulling up. Ooh. The score is Who's that Pete? Was that Pistol Pete? Give it up to him. Chamberlain tries to back him down. Ah, come on! I need a foul, son. To adjust his shot, and he could make it stick. Uh oh. He changes Ooh. direction. He oh, look at Clyde. All right, all right. All right. Four point lead. Four point lead. Let's give it to the big O. He calls for a screen. Can't get it to fall. And he can't make it. The shooter enough to force the miss. We're seeing some nice. Yeah, I know. I know. Uh, big O had a jump shot. I know that. No. Shooting. Good D. the circle. No. Good D. Controls another. Oh yeah, let's go. <laughs> let's go. I'm not gonna make any subs to the second quarter. To the second quarter. Oh, good move. His man exposed. Hey, that's Dave Cowens right there. 1973 MVP right there, man. He also played for Boston. They didn't win that year, but he did win MVP, which is uh. Kind of remarkable considering the talent that was in the league. Guys like Will, guys like um, you know Jerry West and um, and Kareem. Dave Cowens won MVP. Advances up court. Uh huh. Let me get a pick, yo. Here's Robertson. There we go. Three for four on the field. All right, three for four. That ain't bad. He did miss, but it's all good. We're picking up dudes at the after, at the half court line. Monroe from in close. Good rebound. That's what Billy's known for. Big Billy. What? No. Monroe. Wait, oh, let's give it up to Will. Ten on the shot clock. Oh, and one. Ah. Oh. That he had the foul to stop the basket. <laughs> Damn. Now the other team will have to My man Will on the floor. Now let's see. Oh, look at this. Will Chamberlain. <laughs> yeah, that bar is going so fast. Hold up. Nope, that ain't going in. Oh, and I couldn't get the rebound. Hey, hold up. Because I know I ain't playing a minute. 
Let me, let me I just want to check the settings. Okay. Uh, let me turn that down to 30. Because I don't like the user assist, and that's on 30. Okay. I just wanted to make sure. I just wanted to check it out. Come on. Uh, get that out of here. That's Big Will in the lane, boy. Oh, he's really his passing out of the double team. Less than two. That was not an assist. Is turned off. Wilkins directing traffic from the left side. All right, all right, let's um. 13 seconds remaining. Hold up. Okay, he's moving over. Robertson has called for the isolation. We'll see if he can finish the play. First quarter is in the books. The 60s all-star. Listen, that's right, all right? There's no need to panic. We still have a long ways to go. I got the shot control on the CPU. Okay. I thought I was indeed controlling that. It's all good, though. Oh, wait a minute. Oops. The 60s all-stars. Looking to set something up. They call a timeout. All right, who we... All right, we got Willis Reed... John Lucas, Hal Greer, Sam Jones, Tommy Heinsohn, and Walt Bellamy. Okay, so I'm definitely I'm gonna keep in Oscar Robertson and Will Chamberlain. They're the two best players on the team. I'm gonna keep those guys in for now. Mm, but. Okay, this is what I wanted to see. Okay, they get kind of blocked. Let's recant. <laughs> he can't dunk. Damn. Okay. Uh. Whoa! Why is Bill Russell's dunk on on zero? He he couldn't dunk. Wait. Oh, he just has a. Oh wow, he he couldn't wait. Is is that accurate? <laughs> Yo, is that I, I got I gotta check that. Oh man, he couldn't dunk. Damn. That that's that's why his overall is so low. If he had like a ninety something. His overall would probably be a ninety. Huh. Okay. Well. Um. I wanted to see who could block. But him and Bellamy are kind of good at blocking. Look at rebound. Okay, he can a little bit better. Oh, John Lucas is a rebounding machine. I might want to put Lucas in there. He's six eight. I'll take it. I don't really need to block because I got um this guy. Damn, that's huh. okay. All right, you got Sam Jones. I'm gonna put the big O right there. Uh huh. Yeah, guys weren't really that big and tall back then. But shoot, they're still effective. Sam Jones can really shoot. Uh. Okay. Alright, let, let, let's try this lineup out. Let's see. Let's see how it goes. I got the big old running the point. Shout out to him. And then we still got Big Wilt in the game. Chamberlain is backing down his defender. The oh, that's what I wanted. Position, no room to move. Right there. Let's go. We're just going to kick it in the wheel and let him take over the game. I, I know this is supposed to be about Bill, Billy Russell. But hey, listen. He puts it up. The two's good rebound. Hey, listen. Will on this game is so dominant. No. I didn't want that. Uh, oh, okay, good, good, good. He's out of bounds. Outside the line. I can't even move. Hold up. Wait, wait, no, 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 no. Give it back. Give it back. All 
Here we go. Uh, Oscar Robertson. I was trying to pass it, but <laughs> I'm right under uh, under the hoop. Frazier. Right underneath the hoop. Oh man. Oh Jerry Lucas. Started with John Lucas. Oh damn. I haven't heard of Jerry Lucas. I'm sure he was a Hall of Famer though. Frazier hits one of two from the If he's on the 70s team, yeah, he probably was. The 70s All-Star. Uh-huh. So this is what I like to do. I like to call a basket cut. I kind of get some motion offense in there. And that happened. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, can we play some man to man, please? Thank you. Oh, oh, I thought that was a steal. It looks like they're trying to double team the offensive player. Nope. Yeah, you ain't going nowhere. Nope. Shot clock showing full. He gets. Yeah, good steal. Nice job of playing the passing lane. He puts one up. The two's good. Oh, I tried to get in there with Will. He got in the shooter's head that time. Even though he didn't block it, he made no. sure the shooter knew mm, he was good shot. And that may have been enough. So Wolf Frazier makes a shot. No. Setting it up. Lucas covered by Barry. Oh, oh, it won. Oh, get it back. There we go. Nice steal there. Good hands by the defender. Kind one. How did I not get that back? Just in time to make it fall. Well, anyway, it's a little bit less than three minutes ago. They have a five point lead. It's a two possession game. Frazier with a jump shot. Make that a three possession game. They're now up 17 to 10. As we are struggling to get the. Brings it up court. Robertson with his foot over the line. Oh, this, this, this ain't good. This ain't good. Can't fuck. Oh man, nice put back. Yo, this is the walk. Yeah, get out of here. Denied. No, get back, get back. Great anticipation. For two. Oh, this is looking ugly. It's a five possession game. All right, good. Is going to work. No, no, no. Oh, I was trying to pass it out. The 70s All-Stars are playing with a lot of energy at the defensive end. The pressure has made things very difficult for the Oh, they caught a foul. Damn. Maravich is hit on the shot and will head to the line to shoot two. So not only was there no three-point line, up until, I want to say, the late 90s, they didn't even have the charge line. Gets them both. So that line underneath the hoop that tells you whether or not somebody's in legal guarding, guarding position for it to be a charge. Robert. They didn't have that line back in the day neither. Bodied up by Frazier. Okay. He did it. All right, all right. Hey, listen, man. Hey, we we get <laughs> we we getting destroyed. Bro, we we getting destroyed. This this is this is crazy. Monroe advances the ball. I'm trying to honor my man, my man. Uh, he shoots. That's a 13-0 run for the 70s All-Star. I'm trying to honor my boy, Big Billy. We getting we getting absolutely lit up. No, what was it trying to? Oh, whatever. We're seeing some ball movement. Five on the shot clock. Yeah, let's go, Oscar. They need to help each other out defensively and do a better job of communicating. Now he can take his man one on one, but I don't want to get into a one on one kind of game. Barry setting up. Yeah, good defense. Comes up empty. Oh, here we go. That's money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, cool, cool, cool. All stars would like to cut into the lead. Well, the score. Yeah, yes, we would. They still have a long ways to go. No! Oh, Jerry Lucas got two fouls. Hold up. Time to sit him down. Yeah, he, look, he, yeah, he looking tired over there. Uh, shoot. I don't know what to bring. Let's bring in Willis Reed. 
know what? No, no, no. Yeah, we're gonna leave it like that. Two to one. Roll. Shoot the foul two. and goes to the line for two. Ooh. Ooh, that boy Dodo. For the first time tonight for the 60s All-Star. Monroe makes it. Hey, that boy Dodo for the line. All right, let's try for a two for one here. Here we go. Chamberlain with the shot. Uh, oh, I took the shot. Was able to contest that shot and force the miss. We're seeing some nice defense from him right now. The 60s oh. are in the penalties, so the other team will make a trip. Oh, I'll put him at the line. He's going to miss at least one of these. It's oh, okay, cool. Yeah, all right. Jones. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. The shot clock is off. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. 13 seconds left to go in the quarter. All right, clear it out. Clear it out. There we go. Lost him. It's oh, Will. Review it though, but it looked good from here. Oh. They've reviewed it, and the officials. Are that was not the play I was hoping for, but. In time. They brought some help defense. So I had to, had to give it up. Damn, I, I didn't know who was who. Here are the key players at the half. All right, so Rob, Robert, Robertson, he's got a good game going. Two turnovers, 10 points. Bob Lanier with three. Um, all right, let's get the starting five. We, 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 we got we to gotta make an effort, yo. All right, we got Elgin Baylor back in. Lenny Wilkins. Allowing go. by his man. Oh, oh, good pressure. Oh, I, I realized that the this has been a terrific defensive oh. performance. <laughs> the pressure is causing the other team to turn the ball over. Yeah, we, we, yeah. The, 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 hey, this is this my fault right here, yo. Sets it up. <laughs> oh, my good. I thought that was, I, oh, I thought that was Elgin. I really did. We're seeing some nice passing out. Uh -huh. Get it! Turn the ball over. Oh. Making this is the Definitely goal. not. He used his length and forced the shooter to shoot it over. And some good defense played by. No. Damn the, the double team. Baylor moving. Yeah, in. let's go, Baylor. Yes. That, that's what I wanted on that other play for him to make the shot through contact. Hopefully. The 70s All-Stars are taking what the defense gives them. Their opponents have clamped down on the inside, so rather than trying to force it down low, they've gotten their points for mid-range shots. Uh-huh. No, I was... Uh. Oh, this... this is <laughs> I'm about to lose, yo. I... I the 70s All-Stars go up by 15. Hey, li hey, listen. Hey, li listen. Chamberlain working on his defender. It doesn't drop for him. He got hit on that play. I mean, I, 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 I'm not even going to listen. I'm not even going to say nothing. Y'all see it? You telling me that wasn't a foul? Baylor challenges the shot. Shot's no good. Spinning. Oh. Uh. Right. Baylor. Elgin Baylor. And yeah, that spin move is deadly on this game, yo. I'm telling you. We, we are still getting destroyed. Yeah, get it, get it, get it, get it. Go, go, go. Push it, man. Go. Ooh. Look at Lenny. I didn't know he could dunk. Hey, we down, we down 11, though. Listen, it's still early. No, 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 no. He oh, <laughs> he got me. Barry is oh, man. Once his defender left his feet, he picked his spot for the shot. Pulled up and drained it. A nice fake. Give me a screen. Give me a screen. With the Let's go, Lenny. This is the two. Oh, Lenny. Reluctance to give out 
any second chance opportunity. Damn, man, you gotta, you gotta make that. You wide open, bro. Defensive rebound, Mark. Jumpers off the mark. They come down with it. The defense is having such a strong sure, huh? presence at their end tonight, Mark. They're getting every missed shot. No. From in close. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> No way, no way that happened. No way. Number 18, Dave backing down. The Come on, Will. Let's get busy, yo. And got a tough basket in the paint. All right, like I said, we're down 11. It's 24-35. We're down. It's a four. Defensive foul. No way they called a foul on that. The foul, his first. Makes the oh man. Anyway. Yeah, so the lead is going up. He makes them both. Monroe. Ain't no three pointers. It's, it's the only three point pointer you get is if you make a three point play. You make a basket while you're getting fouled. Finish, they send him to the line for one more. <laughs> See, this is the thing. Oh man, wait, this is Will. Damn. Okay, but we got it back. Okay, good. All right, all right. we got foul. Bama with his foul on the shot and heads to the line to shoot two. I can't. I can't. I can't make a free throw, Will. No. Yes. No, yes. Okay, all right, all right. Damn, Will. You're looking like Shaq out there, bro. Or maybe, no, you're looking like Ewan. You look, you're looking like Ewan in game seven. Frazier working for the right. man missed a whole layup, though. He crosses over. The ball has kept moving. Yeah, good steal. Give it up. The 70s All-Stars are all over their opponent. Bill, let's go. Get to the line, Bill. John <laughs> that old play look ugly. Russell. Ooh, look at this. Russell. Oh. Misses his first. Man, I got a little bit of input lag, too. Just a slight bit. Damn, I'm gonna miss that also. Oh, and I can't get the rebound. All right, well, uh, th th this is gonna be my undoing in this game. The free throws. That, that's what happened. The score is afraid. Yo, 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 Wilkins, bro. You, you getting killed out there, bro. You getting killed, bro. There we go. I was about to say they better call that. Chamberlain is fouled on the shot and he is sent to the line. No good. Oh jeez. Couldn't get either. The rebound. Oh my god. Oh yeah, he fouled out. Get out of here. To number 18. <laughs> now now they want to put me to the line. For the floor, the 70s all star. Cowan called for the foul and he is done for the <laughs> Oh my God! I can't wait to see that that free throw percentage as a unit, as a unit. That free throws, yeah, I can't even speak. That free throw percentage is terrible. Frazier sets it up on the left side. Get it, get it! No, he off. The twos can't get the tip. Good rebound. Give it up, give it up. Uh, yeah, and one about the out by man. I was about to say. And set up to the line. Billy The 70s all star two are over the foul limit, so the other team will make a trip to the line. It's all right, good, good, good. No. Chamberlain really made. Oh, and you, and you, bro. Will. Will. Monroe unguarded. Will. Through this game, the will trail by eight. Hopefully, they have some energy left to make a strong fourth quarter charge. Man, this this looking bad. If we go to the line, this this this, this game ain't listen. It ain't gonna work. 
It, it is not going to work, bro. I'm telling you that. I promise you that. I promise you that. I'm going to put Willis Reed back in the game. Oh, this is ugly. But I'm going to try to bring these dudes back in. This is something. Where they stamming at now? I'm going to try to bring these dudes back in the game late in the game. Okay. Nope. Yeah, that that's kind of what we want. The other team is really struggling. Oh, oh, look at Will. No, no, no. Oh. They move it around the offensive end. Ten seconds remaining on the. Oh yeah. And the foul. Nice job on the continue. That, that probably was three seconds, but it's all good. I ain't even crying. For him, and now the chance. All right, here we go. The 60s. Oh man! Ooh, ooh, ooh! The rebound over. Ooh! Oh man, we're going back to the line. The basket. Man, this dude Cunningham is a straight hat. To Cunningham, shooting two. gets called for the foul Jones. and picks up his third. Oh, I just missed that. Damn. All right. He gets one. It's throwing me off because I <laughs> I gotten used to that horrible. Timing with, with, with Will. Jeez. Get it, get it. No, don't leave him open. I try to jump with Will, though. I'm, I'm, hey, I'm, I'm glad there ain't no three point line. That's good. Good rebound. No foul, bro. No foul, bro. I think he got away with a little contact there, but it was a little. He was right there in the shot and forced the miss. It doesn't he better not. He comes up with it. No, oh my goodness, I was close. Backs him down. A defensive ball put up. And what yo <laughs> my goodness. Just too much contact on the play. No. The two's no good. This has been a poor shooting performance. Good block. Oh, damn. We couldn't get the ball back. That was a That should help energize his teammates at the defensive. Get it. Oh, and you step out of bounds, bro. Come to the basketball. Number 15. The point <laughs> oh my gosh! I can't. It's good, and he'll try. I can't believe that he got the and one ball. off that. <laughs> oh man! Rick Barry, yo! Shout out to Rick Barry. Coming back against the team that's playing very such a deadly scorer. Good spot to be in, Mark. It's never easy to overcome a large lead before the quarter. All right, all right. All right, there we go. We we got we, we got to take advantage somehow, man. Come on, we got to. Matter of fact, you know what? Yeah, let's get into this full court thing. They want to pressure the ball and try to force some turnovers. <gasps> oh shoot! Excuse me. Monroe pulls up, comes up empty. Chamberlain, nice job of denying the open look to force the miss. There we go. That's good. The open opportunity. You gotta, bro. You gotta make that. Another great opportunity to reduce the lead is squandered by poor play around the basket. And, uh, oh, come on with that. Basket, he absorbed <laughs> the contact. My goodness. Jesus shot while in flight. Jesus shot while in flight. Shut your ass up. And a timeout is all called star. by the 60s All-Star. Man, this, uh, yeah, yeah, hey. Hey, man. This, 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 might, this might be over. I ain't giving up just yet. I still got some fight in me. He changes direction. Oh my god, of course he was right into the passing lane. Passing the ball. They're lucky that pass didn't result in a turnover. Backing down. And one, bro. Great job moving the ball. I'm trying to get an inbound steal right here. The get it. Oh. Are lucky that pass did. Really? Really? They've thrown a number of careless passes, Mark. Chamberlain playing stiff defense. Ten seconds showing on the shot. No. Oh, I needed him to miss that. Damn. These all stars climb back into the game. Damn, damn, damn. Faced with mounting another comeback. 
Yo, Will, what are you doing, bro? What, what are you? Not falling for any fakes. Just staying home in front of. Yo, I can't stand when they do that. Why are you out in the? Oh man. The seventies All Stars are letting everyone get a touch. Brings in another rebound. Robertson going to the spin move. They are. No, no, no. Okay, good. Oh man. Oh, I thought it was going to the line. Ten to put it up. No, no, no. That's good though. That's good. Let's go. Wilkins saw the double coming and made the great pass for the assist. Nice job of passing out of the double team. Double him. No. Really, really. Oh, look at this. Oh my goodness. How did he not get double? Maravich with three showing. He jumpers good. <laughs> a very fortunate shot that time. He didn't have a choice. Yep, well that was it. Oh man, that was that was it. He made the right choice. That was it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blew it. Yeah, blew it. Backs him down. You can't muscle this dude out the way? Can't hit the close one. Another rebound by Chamberlain. The 70s team continues to make it very difficult for the other team to get offensive rebounds. They're playing some heads up defense. Keep it get the. Oh my gosh, of course he got the basketball back. Frazier defended by Wilkins. I don't, I don't. He gonna make that. Gets it off with three left. <laughs> yep. <laughs> My goodness. Handling. Jeez. Yep. I re hey, listen, man. I already know what was up with this game. Sound defensive effort by Maravich. This one is. Oh yeah. The '60s All Stars just weren't able to take this game over, and they end up with the loss. There's no question they were struggling a bit tonight. You know what? <laughs> oh man, he got a double double too, didn't he? Here is you see that? player of the game. Pistol Pete, six for ten. One steal. Damn man, I, oh man. For tonight's game. And that, and that game was ugly. Will had a double double, don't even matter though. My man Bill Russell had one point. <laughs> Two blocks though. Mm. Ooh, that was ooh. Alright, I mean Oscar didn't you know, he shot Damn Will. Yo, how many I got wait, wait, wait. I gotta see these free throws though. What was this free free throw game looking like? Ew! Damn, we shot four out of 16. Ouch. That's going to hurt right there. Hey, if you don't shoot a good percentage for the line, you're not going to win the game. I, I guarantee you that. I guarantee you that. My man Will was 0 for 6. Yeah. Will was 0 for 6, though. Damn. I couldn't even get into a groove. Russell won for yeah. You, you can't win like that. You can't win like that. But anyway, here are the stats for tonight's game. Wait, anyway, let me see uh how they did. Rick Barry with eleven. Fraser, yeah, yeah. They 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 balled out. Damn, Havlicek has seven rebounds. Hmm, not bad. Bob Lanier with eight and a block. My man fouled out right here. Oh, they got Nate Archibald. Nate Archibald was good too. Earl of the Pearl Monroe. Dave Bing. My man got he got the glasses on. <laughs> I see you, Dave. Oh, you can't forget about Big Walton. Big Bill Bill Walton right there, man. Yeah, he he was good too until he got hurt. West Suntailed, underrated. All right. <laughs>
hey listen ladies and gentlemen that is going to do it for this one just wanted to throw something out there real quick um nice little tribute video to my man bill russell shout out to him one of the greatest of all time definitely um yeah man shout out to him so important in the history of nba um yeah but anyway yes once again that's gonna do it i hope you all enjoy um thank you for tuning in hope you all stick around <laughs> i still got some content left to go and um yeah hopefully i'll be back tomorrow for not friday but you know we'll see um but yeah once again Thank you all for tuning in. Thank you all for watching. I always, always appreciate that. If you're new, subscribe. If you've been here, thank you for staying here. I appreciate that as well. And, um, yeah, so I hope you all enjoy. Hope you all are doing very, very well. And I hope you all take care. Stay safe in these times. Um, it's, it's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy out there. So make sure you're staying safe. Um, yeah, take care of your family. Take care of yourselves. And that's pretty much about it. So, that's going to be it for me. So, that's it for this one. And I'm out of here, y'all. See ya!